So a solution contains uh, 4.5 grams of glucose per um, 100 milliliters. That is a conversion factor through and through. It's something for every something, right? They're telling us that. F so I'm going to write this down as a as a uh, conversion factor, which is 4.5. There are 4.5 grams in every 100 milliliters. I don't even know what the problem is talking about yet, but. On the SAT, if I'm reading that I've got something as a conversion factor, I'm going to write it out as such. Um, they also tell us that each mole of glucose weighs 180 grams. Again, that tells us one mole of glucose uh, weighs 180 grams. That's another unit conversion or conversion factor, a statement of equivalence, right? 450. Uh, 4.5 grams equals 100 milliliters, and uh, it also has one mole is equal to 180 grams. They want to know how many moles are there in three liters of the glucose solution. Note that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Well, okay, move over three liters because we have another conversion factor, which is one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Great. Uh, so, whenever we're doing conversion factor problems, we truly like to start with the odd man out, which is the thing that is not a conversion factor. So, we'll start with the three liters, and then we're going to find the conversion factor that has liters in it. Okay, we've got it. It's the liters to milliliters. Um, and now, the one thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to like, flip this. Um, this is just a statement of equivalence. So I'm saying one right here, I'm saying one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. I could reverse that. I could say 1000 milliliters is equal to one liter and it's not going to change that, but we want to cancel. So we're using dimensional analysis. I'm going to rewrite this as 1000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Uh, what that does is that cancels out liters and leaves us with milliliters. So now that we're in milliliters, we want to find the next conversion factor that has milliliters in it. And hey, lo and behold, here it is. Um, again, we're going to need to, uh, well, no, actually, we're not going to have to reverse it because milliliters is already in the denominator. So we will write that as such. So that's going to be 4.5 grams is equal to 100 milliliters. Um, again, what we're seeing here is that milliliters gets canceled out with milliliters. Um, okay, last but not least, uh, our unit of measure is grams, so we're going to be looking for a conversion factor with grams that we have. Um, it's written properly because uh, grams will cancel if grams is in the denominator. So that's 180 grams for one mole, and then as we're seeing here, grams are canceling and guess what we're left with moles perfect so um, as I said I like to write this stuff out before I use the calculator because now that I have it all out I can just go ahead and punch this into the calculator um, I'm gonna multiply all my numerators first and then I'll divide by my denominators so that should be three times uh, 1000 times 4.5 times 1 and so we'll take that answer and we'll divide that by uh, 100 and then we'll divide that by 180 and we end up with 0 0.75 moles and that's gonna be it